Got all my lumber milled up. These are going to be the front of the door. It's white pine and I've used the outside of the log that has a bit of a roundness to it still. But I did give a nice even consistent width all the way across and I'm gonna go through with the hand plane now, power hand plane, and just round that out a little bit more to create that round log effect. I also milled up some larch that I'm gonna use for the frame and then I got a big beam here that goes uh, above the door and above a window. These are pretty dry. I know people are gonna ask, uh, you know, aren't the, isn't the wood going to move? Isn't it going to shrink? And uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit, it expands and contracts. But as far as the wood drying, I'm uh, at 12 here. Let's just make sure. I got a 12% uh, moisture. And uh, on the inside, I'm at 16. So a little bit wetter on the inside of the log. Outside is uh, pretty dry because these have been felled now for a few years. So as I'm going through the boards, I'm realizing there's some variables in, in width. Of the board so now I'm going through and I'm gonna find the least square side and mark that and trim a little bit off just to make sure that the boards are perfectly parallel the whole way up so I get a nice square door This episode is brought to you by Nick's Boots. I put these boots on at 6.30 a.m. yesterday, wore them all the way until 9.30 p.m. and uh, was on my feet for about 85% of the day. And really it was just an enjoyable, comfortable day. This shrunken bison is such a soft leather that there really is no break-in on the uppers. And once your feet mold to that leather sole, they really become your boots and they're incredibly comfortable. And I know that from past experiences, that's not the case with a lot of work boots. It's not just boots they have, they make a leather belt, which I'm wearing right now. They got bags, jackets, um, all kinds of accessories. So click that link in the description, let them know that you're watching my videos and uh, that really helps them continue to support the channel. So uh, head over to Nick's, use the discount code TIMBER and get yourself something nice.
or maybe a gift for someone you love. I think that's good. We'll leave the rest for the deer. This would be like 500 bucks in the grocery store. Priceless in the grocery store. You can't get hand-picked wild berries. For me, you know, building this cabin was never really about the building itself and more about the experience in nature. And so part of that for me is foraging, collecting wild edibles, you know, paying attention to the animals, paying attention to the seasons. And so when you can go and collect food, it really, really connects you to, to nature. And it's fall now, so there's an abundance of things to forage. And so we went and picked some of these wild apples and some wild blackberries and we are going to make some crepes. <laughs> are you my videographer? Okay, daddy better flip this thing. I want to quickly mention my vest. I get a lot of questions about it and I'm really happy to report that it is finally going to be available soon. Um, this is my first collaboration with any product, any brand, and it's uh, a work vest. We're calling it the Craftsman. I wanted a vest like this for a long time that just was something I could just have all year round. Hot summer day, I could just throw it on over no shirt, t-shirt, light shirt throughout the seasons, put on something heavier, and throughout the winter, put on a heavier wool shirt or wear it under a jacket. And the idea is just to have all of my stuff where I want it all the time, all year round. And so that's where my, my journal lives, my lighter lives. Usually I can put you know a tape measure, something like that, some earplugs, drill bits. You know, if you need to sneak off to the washroom, I've got big pockets on the inside, uh, throw over a little toilet paper, whatever you need. Big pockets for hand warming or tape measure. Uh, the idea was to have a vest that holds everything and even if you don't want to wear it, you know, some days it's just too hot to wear. I'll just have this hanging on a hook, I'm going to throw it over something and it still has my, my notepad in it, my stuff. So it's just, when I leave the house, this is what I grab and I know I got some of the essentials that I'm going to need throughout the day. So anyways, uh, going to be available soon. There'll be a link in the description below and uh, I hope you guys like it because I've been a uh, you know, I worked hard on it, uh, did this collaboration with heat straps. They worked very hard on it. Incredible, good quality, all made in the USA. Solid brass snaps. Uh, this thing's gonna last you a lifetime, I promise. Uh, I've been wearing it for six months now and it's flawless. Not a single stitch came undone, nothing. Everything's perfect. So I feel comfortable offering it to you guys this fall. So uh, make, make a great Christmas present. So put this one on your Christmas list. Look at the seam there. You barely see it. It's not bad. It's a pretty nice finish.
into the wood chips from the planer. Uh, I think they'll make a good kindling. I'm about to go to bed up in the loft here and it's pouring rain. I don't have windows in or anything like that yet, so I just get to sit here, go to bed, listen to the sound of pouring rain, feel it, smell it. I'm gonna regret when I actually close this in because it's so nice to be up here, sheltered, but yet out just in the forest.
All right, my door is officially done. There's just one last question regarding how good it turned out. Uh, after I did the glue up uh, and, and let it dry, it started to have a concave. The board started to curve up, and I think I was just leaving it this side up in the sun. And anyways, um, that's why you see these braces here. I had, I had one here and one down there, just trying to strain it out. So. Uh, we are going to take these off and see if now it lays straight. Now that I got these uh, braces uh, set into it, screwed down and been kind of stretched out. If it, uh, if it doesn't curl back up, we're in good shape. It didn't seem to curl up on that side, but this was the worst side. Uh, the other thing some of you observant might have noticed is that I was endorsing these uh, Bison Nyx boots and now you, right away you see me change into a different pair of shoes. And uh, these are also Nicks. These are called the uh, Striders, as they have referred to them. I think they're called Aldert Striders. And uh, they're more of their like, sh shorter, four inch shoe, sh shoe boot. And they've been really comfortable. And they're just great on a nice uh, summer day. They also have uh, wedge soles, so I'm not tracking dirt up onto the platform where it might go down. Beautiful. Stayed straight. Okay. Uh, now the question is, can I lift this door and get it into position? We're about to find out. Eventually put a window there, I wasn't sure. We'll see. Maybe later. That I've got this exact measurement. I can plane this part of the frame to match exactly. I can test fit it, make sure everything's nice and snug, and put it in. The top piece is actually already done. But this is looking awesome. door is hung and I'm actually really happy with it. Um, now it's time for the handle. This is a piece I found on the ground back when I was just getting started on the cabin. I thought, you know what, this might be a neat handle one day. And uh, I think that day is today. So I'm going to fly it up the back, put it on and see how it looks. 
basically we want to keep it off about that much. So have the back of that be out as far as that. Yeah, right there. Okay, so can you hold that steady? So we're going to line it up, kind of centered to that beam. This is going to be centered there. That's going to be centered there. It's a little bit higher than the beam. Okay. Well, the middle of the handle. Oh, oh, you mean the? Oh, yeah. I guess we can kind of go at the top. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Whatever feels. Yeah. No. That's that's kind of right. That's a horizontal line. That would make sense. How's that? That looks low. Yeah. I was kind of. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So now we're just going to make sure that stays level. On the top. Want me to hold it? Yeah, but keep it hand on the level too. Yeah, okay. Hold everything. Do the honors, see if it works. Bye bye. <laughs> nice, that looks good. Awesome. So good. Let me try it. Wow, I, yeah, it's nice. It kind of overhangs a little bit. Yeah. Easy to grab. You're not trying to like get your fingers underneath. Yeah, yeah. So if you have like wet hands and you're like. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. It's done. Nice work. Five. 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 That feels good to have this one done. Yeah.